Hello there. Welcome back to the React Masterclass by My Project Ideas. I am Mohit, your tutor, and in the today's tutorial, we are going to see what is a use callback and use memo hook. So these are the points we are going to cover. What is a use callback hook, use memo hook, and the difference between them. So let's just see first use callback hook. So the use callback hook, what is it? As you are already familiar with the hooks. There are a few more hooks to optimize the performance of our code. The use callback hook is mainly used to cache a function definition across the re-renders. In the simple words, a function definition will persist across the re-renders until a state is changed on which it is dependent. So this function must be dependent on this changing state. So when a particular state changes, then only function definition will change. The so use callback hook. What are the advantages of the use callback hook? It optimizes the performance of code and it reduces the computation as the function is called less times and stored result is written. As it is saying that the use callback will store the function definition across the re-renders. It will not uh, make the function definition new every time across the re-renders. So again, it basically memoes the function definitions. Now we will see how to write a use callback hook in the next slide. So the syntax is use callback hook have two arguments, a callback function or a function which we want to store and a dependency array, just like the use effect. As we have already seen what is use effect. Okay, fine. So this use callback will contain, you can treat it as a, treat it as a function. It will contain a arrow function or maybe a function expression or whatever and also a dependency array. So when this dependency array contains a state that can be changed. So if the state is not changed, then the function definition will persist. But if the state is changed, then the function definition will also change across the re-enders. Now the use memo hook. So use memo is also a caching function instead of a caching a function definition it will cache a value returned by function. So the value will persist across many re-renders until some specific states are changed, which is mentioned in the dependency array. As we have seen in the use callback, instead of function definition, it caches the function returned value. The use memo is also dependent on the states. Let's see the next slide for the syntax of use memo. So similar to the use callback, use memo have a similar kind of syntax with a pure function and a dependency array. So what is the pure function? So pure function is something that uh, that will take no arguments and return value. So it has two arguments, as you can see, and you can store it in the constant or any uh, variable like thing. <coughs> it depends on you. So what actually happens during the cache? If no dependency is changed on which use callback or use memo depends, then the function previously stored value or the function definition is written. It means that if, if any state that is in the dependency array not changed, then it will uh, return the stored value. For the first time, the function definition value is memoized or is stored in the memory. So for the first time, it is always uh, a new definition. That's why that time it is stored in the memory. And when any dependency change mentioned in the dependency array, then only function definition or value will change. Otherwise, previously stored value is returned. So both of the hooks optimize performance and speed by cutting the computations and hence increase the performance of our project. So these are some key differences between the use callback and use memo. Use callback memorizes a function definition, but use memo memorizes a value written by function. And use callback allocates a new address to define function in the memory on dependency changed. Otherwise, it will access the same address in the memory. And then the use memo. On the other hand, it memorizes value. If the dependency is changed, then the new value is allocated different address in memory. Otherwise, it will return the same value as before. So use callback is very useful when a component is uh, passing a callback to its child component to prevent the re-rendering of the child component. It only changes the callback when one of its dependency gets changed. 
but use memo is useful to avoid the expensive calculations on every render when the return value is not going to change let's see this with practical example so now it's time to see the use callback hook in its practicality so how to define a use callback hook suppose i want to use a function here so it doesn't make any sense to define the use callback inside a parent component instead we should define in a children component so i have already made a children component here so let's just go to this there's nothing um, any complex thing it's just a simple div returning a string children so let's define a, a function called addition which will be a simple arrow function and which will return okay nothing return because we have to pass the argument suppose i have passed two arguments and i will return a plus b actually i will say these are parameters not the arguments because a lot of com confusion is caused parameters are defined arguments are used okay so whenever i i am calling this function i will pass the arguments but now the for now these are parameters okay fine this addition function we have defined now let's just see if our component is working or not okay it's working so what happened here is whenever this component is rendered then a reference is created for this particular function so a reference in the memory particularly so that's why whenever this component is re-rendered one time two time three time four or maybe hundred times then each time this function will have a different reference memory to its uh, definition so that's not a very optimal approach so that's why we use a use callback hook so actually the optimization step is uh, is the final finishing up step but i will tell you from now because uh, we can optimize our projects on the go so let's just use the use callback hook so i will just copy this function definition here and just erase it now instead i will use use callback hook and inside this use callback hook i will paste this function and i will give this comma second argument will be an empty array so this is the dependency array in which we will have to pass the dependency so dependency means any variables or use state variables that this function is depend upon this function will change the reference only and only when there is some dependency here that is changing otherwise if the dependency not changing then this function definition or the reference memory will not change and that will save us a lot of computation uh, it is not easy to see in this smaller applications but uh, it is very good to see i mean the difference is uh, very visible in the larger applications so for example i create a use state hook don't worry about it i will uh, explain the use state hook in a separate video so i will uh, make it like uh, value comma set value which equal to use state hook and inside the use state hook i will pass a zero so i will pass the value here so currently we are not changing this value so suppose this value is changed i click on any button then this value is incremented suppose this value is changed then only this function definition will change its reference memory allocation will change otherwise it's not so this was the use callback hook for you and now it's our time to see the use memo hook so similar to that use callback hook we will define it for uh, we can define it everywhere like uh, in the parent component or the children component there's no particular bound to it so suppose we have some expensive calculation function so this function will return some computed value so let's say this value is a plus any argument you've passed in here x a plus x okay and return computed value so i'm just taking for it uh, addition as an example here so instead of a we can pass two okay so there can be a uh, very complex calculation for this particular input and for this output 
uh, it will be calculated according to the input. So what I want to say here, like uh, this component is re-rendered, then this function is again calculating this particular thing. If the input has not changed, again calculating this particular thing, then it will cost us uh, a lot of computation power. If this is com complex calculation, uh, it is not right now, but it may be. Suppose you are uh, uh, fetching the data from the server or for a particular input. And uh, if that, uh, so what I want to say here that uh, for a particular input, there can be a particular output. Then we should store that result in the cache so that the rendering will be faster and thus save us a lot of computation power. So that's why we use use memo hook. So what I can do here is uh, uh, club this function in use memo inside the use memo similar to the use callback it will have a dependency array so whatever it is uh, suppose a value uh, any value like uh, it can it can have a, any value or use state variable here so whenever this value change then this va uh, function will calculate recalculate that value otherwise it will not so that's how it save us a lot of competition power and optimizes optimize our code together with the performance of application. So congratulations. Now you know how to use the memoization to boost your application's performance. And thank you very much for being until here. And from the next video, we are going to cover how to pass states as a props inside the React components. And I'm very excited to see you in the next tutorial.